Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled A Mechitza in a Shul. According to some, it has to be a real Mechitza. Discussed a few pages ago in Dafyomi, if you dab him early in that Dafyomi Erevin, now it's up to Dafyomi Erevin. Tzadi Bet talks about Mechitzot and Allah is regarding Erevin and Rishiot and Shabbat. And regarding Mechitza in the Shul, Rav Hankin, Rav Herzl Hankin Shlita, shall live and be well. Maintains this is the very first Chuvin B'nai Banim, Chelek Aleph, Chuva Aleph, where he says it should be a true halachic mechitza. Yes, in addition, it needs to be a separation between the men and the woman. They don't see each other. It uh, doesn't uh, allow for going back and forth. But you need to have a halachic mechitza. He actually says in the 70s, he says, I was in your Moshav, he was up in the Begat Hayadin, Rav Hinkin many years ago, and I was in your and I actually mentioned this to you, but I see you just kept a vilon, which is what many shuls have, just a little a curtain that blocks each other from seeing each other. They said it's not a lachik mechitza, and Rav Hankin maintains you have to have a halachic mechitza, which means it doesn't just flow in the wind, it's connected to the ground, within three tfachim of the ground, and whatever would work for mechitza minimally. In a sukkah, where it has to be anchored properly and solid, so you need to have that mechitza as well. And the mechitza you're going to use for even, then that's the basics of mechitza in the shul. Then yes, you may have to add on to the height and other things, but that's the starting point. Fascinating tshuva, chilek aleph, tshuva aleph, siman aleph, in b'nei panim. Shalom.